Ever had that one friend where you tell them something important, like your big presentation that's coming up next week, or that you're moving house, and the next time you speak to them, well, they've completely forgotten, and you have to go through the whole story again. Well, up until now, it's kind of been like that with Microsoft 365 Copilot. Sure, it's powerful, but every time you speak of it and you start a new conversation, you need to repeat everything once again. It's like a blank slate every single time. But that's now going to change with Copilot Memory. It's a brand new feature where Copilot can now remember details you've shared of it across all of your different conversations, like who you've worked with, what projects you're working on, and how you prefer to work. Meaning every time you use Copilot, it becomes more like a real assistant, one that knows you and grows with you. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full preview of what Copilot memory is, how it works, and why it might just be the most exciting thing that we've seen in Microsoft 365 Copilot yet. So let's jump straight in. So let's get started in Microsoft 365 Copilot. And this new Copilot memory feature that we're checking out today is in preview. Yes, I'm giving you an advanced look of how it works and how you can get the most from it when it becomes available to you. And we'll kick off with a common problem that we find in Copilot. I'll ask Copilot, how do I like my writing style? You can see that in summary, it has no idea how it likes my writing style. And instead it asks some questions to understand how I like my writing style. Now normally that means that any response I give it is stored only in this single conversation, but not anymore with Copilot memory. So let's get started by giving it these five answers on tone and voice and more so we can understand how I like my writing style. With my response now drafted, I'll send it into Copilot and we'll see something very different. Copilot now comes back around its understanding of my writing style, but there's an option here that's now shown, memory updated. You can see that Copilot is now memorized the way that I like to now approach when I'm writing any content with the help of Copilot. And in this scenario, I could now show you that Copilot remembers it across different conversations. And to do that, we'll simply open a new chat with Copilot and I'll give it the same question. How do I like my writing style? Now we know in the past that Copilot would have no idea and ask me the same question to repeat the same answers, but not anymore. You can see here that the information I gave Copilot is now returned and how I like my writing style. So in a short example there, we can see how Copilot can learn and how Copilot can then respond with those memories across different conversations that we have both now and in the future. And taking that example a step forward, I'll now ask Copilot to ask me five questions to get to know me better. Copilot now provides these five questions. What kind of projects or topics do I enjoy working on? Do I prefer collaborating closely with others? And then three other questions. I'm now going to go ahead and answer those and provide Copilot the responses to help again build its memory further. With my response now drafted, sharing this back with Copilot, we can now see once again the memory is updated. All of those points I've shared with Copilot is added as a memory, once again ensuring that any further responses that Copilot generates will also take those memories into account. But how do these memories work and where are they stored? Well, in this scenario, we can head over to the freed up menu inside of Copilot chat. Then we select settings, and now under Copilot memory, we can see all of the memories that Copilot now remembers from our conversations. The apps I regularly use, how I prefer collaborating with others, how I enjoy creative projects, and the way I also want to write my content with the help of Copilot. So we can see that across all my conversations moving forward, Copilot will now remember these points and now Copilot will now create content that's more personalized to me and how I work. Alongside these points under your work profile, Copilot's memory will also utilize your work information, your job title and other information to make sure relevant results are also provided through its memory again. And if head back into Copilot, we can again test this out. I'll ask Copilot what type of projects I like to be involved with. And there we go, we can see in Copilot's response that based on what I know so far, you like working on creative projects and you make use of these tools. 
once again showing that co-pilot memories used across different conversations and questions to help build responses that are more relevant to you personally. Co-pilot memory is a big change. There's no doubt about that. But here's a real question. Do you and your team actually know what co-pilot is and how it could transform the way that you work today? Because if you're not quite sure, then now is a perfect time to book in a strategy session with us here at Your365 Coach. Because if you're starting out your co-pilot journey or just want to align your team around new ways to work in co-pilot, our strategy sessions will give you that clarity that you need. Why not find out more using the link below or in the video description? And now let's get back into seeing how co-pilot memory will change the way that you work. But is it possible with co-pilot to forget memories? Well, head back into the freed up menu, select settings, and under co-pilot memory, we can now delete all of the memories it holds about you to return it back to that more generic co-pilot. But instead, if you want to make a change, maybe the writing style has evolved. You could simply click on the trash can icon to the right hand side of any memory, and just like that, co-pilot forgets it. You could now relearn co-pilot a different type of writing style, or alternatively, we can use a new option in Copilot. Alongside Copilot memory, we can select custom instructions, which also allows Copilot to understand your interests, preferences, goals, or any other context to help also deliver relevant results. In this scenario, I'm going to ensure that Copilot focuses on a certain type of English language when it's written, and also on professional content. Now, every time we get a response back from Copilot, it will use these custom instructions, and you can once again tailor it to meet your specific needs. So alongside memory, Copilot instructions are a great way to also personalize and customize your own Copilot experience. And putting this all together, let's go ahead and ask Copilot to write me a blog post about tools that I use regularly today. And Copilot's now responded. We can see it's used Copilot memory to build the apps I use every day that wasn't included inside of the original prompt. Alongside that, we can see a certain type of English written language being used, ensuring here that it's following our custom instructions. So we can now see how easy it is to build a Copilot that is relevant to you, your custom instructions and your memories now you stay in control of adjusting that at any time through its memory and the ability to delete those instructions or any memory of your choice. But to summarize, I know when most of us think about AI, we still have flashbacks to the movies and in one movie in particular, The Terminator. But remember in Terminator 2, when the Terminator is sent back with a clear set of tasks and objectives, it's robotic, efficient, but it can't learn. Can you learn stuff that you haven't been programmed with? So you can be, you know, more human. But when the Terminator then gets the ability to have memory, it starts to adapt, respond differently, show a different kind of empathy. And I get it, that's science fiction. But in a way, that's what I see is happening with co-pilot memory. Until now, co-pilot's been powerful, but forgetful. Every conversation is a reset, but with memory and customization, we now know that Copilot can learn, adapt, and become an assistant that can help you. And sure, it won't take over the world. This isn't Skynet, but it will change the way that you work with Copilot. And in this view, this is the biggest evolution that we've seen to date in Microsoft 365 Copilot. But what do you think? Are you ready for a Copilot that remembers? Why not let me know in the comments below? Because I'd love to know. And if this video has helped you, why not hit that like button? And or if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join thousands of others getting weekly tutorials to help them work smarter, not harder. And other than that, well, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.